Are you about to make the payment to buy your first home? You may be a little nervous, which is natural, but did you know that during this stressful time, you may be missing out on some details that may seem minor, but can cost you a lot? There is no way to know what mistakes you've made until you've already made it and in the process, learned some hard lessons along the way. Hey everyone, it's Gaurav Khatri and I help people buy, sell and invest in real estate in the GTA and today's video is about making sure that you're not making the same common mistakes that most home buyers make that can save you thousands of dollars. If after watching this video you feel confident to go out there and start exploring homes, make sure to read my 12 step guide to purchasing a home. I've provided in-depth details about each stage of the home buying process so that you don't get taken advantage of at any point. Make sure to comment down below and I will send it over. Mistake number one, making emotional decisions and outspending your budget. Buying a home is an emotional process and sometimes we deliberately make mistakes due to these emotions. It is very common for home buyers to ignore the logical thought process and purchase an expensive home that is out of their budget. This is a mistake that should be avoided at all costs. The moment you feel that your emotions are taking over, give yourself some time to think by taking a step back. Don't let the fear of missing out on a house cloud your judgment. It's crucial to make a budget and stick to it no matter what. Thousands of home buyers have ignored this advice and ended up in a financial mess. Overpaying for a house can compromise your financial goals that you had set carefully by making it hard for you to pay your bills in the future. When competing with multiple offers, you may want to overstretch on a property, but take a step back and remember your financial goals. If you're making too many sacrifices and adjustments for that one house, then you should think twice about that purchase. There will be plenty of homes in the future and you can still buy your dream home without having to compromise your financial stability. Mistake number two, taking a new debt before closing. When you purchase a home, you get qualified for a mortgage based on your financial situation, which comprises of income, debts, assets, and credit history. After purchasing a home, a lot of times what buyers do is go out there and make another big purchase like a car. This can be a huge problem because it now changes your financial situation and in turn impacts your ability to secure the mortgage that you were initially approved for. To avoid this problem, it's important to maintain your financial situation as it was when you were initially approved for a mortgage loan. This means avoiding taking on new debts and making large purchases until after the closing date when the money has been paid already. If you're already in debt and spending thousands of dollars in debt repayments, then it can be difficult to save for a down payment. It may be tempting to go with a private lender and pay huge interest, but if that is the case, then it's probably not the best time to buy a home. Mistake number three, not being able to see a home beyond its current condition. During your home search journey, you will come across and tour tons of homes. And being a first time buyer, you may get attracted to the cosmetics such as the beautiful finishes, fixtures and decor. These less important things tend to pull away your attention from the more crucial details. For example, you may be ignoring the house's location, the flaws in the heating system or the backyard, which can be a costly mistake. On the other hand, you might also be overlooking a nice home just because it needs a paint job or a cosmetic touch-up. That's why when looking for a home, pay less attention to features that can be altered easily and pay more attention to details that are expensive to repair and replace. I hope this video is giving you tremendous value. Please make sure to like this video by giving me a quick thumbs up. And if you want to continue getting real estate tips, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to be the first one to get notified on my latest videos. Mistake number four, not documenting everything. When preparing an offer, there are several things to consider such as what kind of fixtures will be included in the purchase, what is excluded, if there are any repairs to be made, when those repairs will get done, etc. You need to make a list of every little detail and put it in writing in the offer for the seller to accept. I've heard horror stories of buyers and sellers fighting over small things just because it wasn't documented. The rule of thumb should be, if it's not in writing, then it didn't happen. Make sure that your conditions and clauses are reasonable and not overwhelming. Otherwise, the seller might reject your offer. Mistake number five, rushing to make an offer. It's easy to get tired when touring multiple homes. At some point, you get impatient and replace the need for a good home with any home. The feeling is even worse in a hot seller's market when every home is flying off the shelves. At that point, you may want to put in an offer just for the heck of it so that you don't miss out on an opportunity, but that can result in overpaying or buying the wrong house. During a house tour, you may like a home so much that out of excitement, you may want to put in an offer immediately. However, this can be a costly mistake because the sellers will now know how desperate you are and may try to negotiate a price higher than its current market value. Hence, before making an offer, take your time, do your due diligence and make an informed decision. Mistake number six, choosing desires over needs. 
Before starting your search for homes, make your list of need to have and want to have and stick by it. For example, when seeing houses, you might come across a home that has a swimming pool and an unfinished basement. You might have decided earlier that you absolutely need a finished basement, but now the pool has changed your mind, making you want to overlook that requirement. To avoid this mistake, go back to your list and make sure the house ticks all your need to have boxes before you can address the wants. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a house with everything you don't need. Mistake number seven. Most home buyers feel that they can inspect a house by themselves after watching a few videos on YouTube, but it's not that easy. You may ignore things that you cannot see, such as the heating and the cooling system, the attic, the foundation, etc. The beauty of the home may pull your attention away from the more important things. That's where a home inspector is needed because they look at homes regularly for a living and know where to look for problems. And that's why you should never ignore a home inspection. A home inspection cannot be done without a home inspection condition in the offer. Many buyers don't know about this and the ones that do know sometimes tend to ignore the home inspection condition in order to make their offer more attractive to the seller and also save a few hundred dollars of the home inspection fee. However, I've seen those few hundred dollars save my clients thousands of dollars in repair and remediation costs. Were you about to make any of those mistakes? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you need to have an in-depth discussion about the GTA real estate market, my details are down below and also on the next screen. And make sure to check out this next video.